Hey guys, back again. Uh, next day. Uh, I'm starting to lay out these intake ports and where I kind of want them. And uh, I noticed that um, the gasket, like the marks that the gasket had left, didn't really match what the, uh, where kind of where the ports were. So I started kind of laying stuff out and taking some measurements off of stuff that should be straight. And, uh, Let's see. Basically, I put a straight edge across these studs here, from this stud to this stud. And then uh, there's this machined head surface up against the, the head here where the top of the flange would go. And uh, so I started taking some measurements off that. And it turns out that the measurements ma match the gasket perfectly, the marks where the gasket were. But the ports are pretty far off. Um, let me see if I can show you this. You can kind of see the mark from the gasket. It's almost touching on this side. But on this side, it's got like probably a hundred thou. And the same thing top to bottom. Um, and, and actually as you went along, like this far port was pretty close. And then as I went along, this port's like a lot farther off as it goes down the line. So it's almost like the casting is, was a little bit crooked. So what I'm going to do is lay all this stuff out and kind of try to straighten that stuff up. Um, because I did, when I blueprinted to build intake manifolds, I did blueprint off of where the gasket sat. So if I want this port to match my intake manifolds, I need to basically bring it out to where that gasket is. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of work on these, but uh, I think it'll be worth it in the end. So I'm going to get to the get to work on that. And uh, I've kind of, so what I did, let me show you. I just laid out a scribe top and bottom to get my, my uh, basically the, the top and the bottom of the port to the same. I've already started working on this one just a little bit. Um, and then the gasket I measured between each port like this burp, burp, burp. and uh, basically they're all exactly the same they're all 88 millimeters to either side which is which is ironically the same as the bore spacing um, so I, I think the gasket is far more accurate than the casting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave the kind of the dirty marks that are on there and I'm going to just bring the top and bottom out to my scribes and then bring the sides out to where the gasket showed that it was. So um, I'm going to start working on that and then uh, we'll go into I guess just porting it just like we did the exhaust. Um, there's a little bit more intricacies in the in the intake ports because because of the three valves um, it's got kind of some you know multiple split points and things where where it's it's kind of intricate and then with bringing the port out to uh, to that what I just talked about uh, there's going to be some some really blending that we really need to pay attention to so um, I'm just going to kind of do it by hand and, and see what I come up with uh, going in there first with the carbide tool and then, uh, and then going back later with the sanding, sanding rolls. Um, so I'm going to get these roughed in and then uh, we'll start blending and I'll try to kind of show you guys here and there but in the process without making the video too awful long. But anyway, here we go. Okay, so uh, so I got those knocked out pretty close to where I want them. Um, I don't know if you can see. But they're, uh, 
They're a lot closer now, I believe. And so I'm just going to go in and kind of smooth them up a little bit with the, uh, with the carbide burr. Just get the transition a little better. And then I'll start going in with the sanding rolls. Um, one, other, one other thing I did, I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but I, I went in there and I knocked down the tips of the guides because they were just barely hanging into the port, so I went, went in there and I knocked down the, the tips to make them smooth with the top of the port. Um, I'll probably do the same with the exhaust too, uh, but yeah, just keep going. Okay guys, so I have been working for a while now on these intake ports. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see because what I found when I was scribing out the, the inlets to them and how I found the casting was different, I'm seeing the same thing in the ports. Um, the, the ports on this side of the head lined up with the valve pockets pretty well. There wasn't a whole lot I had to take out to smooth them up. Um, but as I got to this side of the head, I had to take a lot more out of, out of one side of the port to get them to line up with the, with the valves uh, and the valve seats. So it's, it's interesting to see the casting differences and actually just the, the casting in itself in the intake ports need a lot more material taken out than the exhaust ports did um, just to get them to kind of be smooth and, and, uh, and uniform. So it's kind of crappy because it's a, it's a bunch of work, but it's also kind of a, a, of a good thing because I have a good feeling that this head's going to make this motor pick up a lot of power uh, from, from doing this work on it. So uh, one thing I kind of screwed up on is these, these seats actually overhung into the bore of the of the port a little bit so I was kind of grinding them out to try to like port match them to the port and on this particular seat I kind of got a little rambunctious and and uh, took a little more material out of the seat than I would have liked so I actually cut down my my seat area a little bit and you know if this was somebody else's engine I would probably send this out and have at least this intake valve reseated and recut. Um, but in the interest of these videos and the fact that this is my motor and not a customer's, um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see how it laps in and everything when I'm done with this, with the porting on this head. And I'm just gonna see if I feel comfortable with, with how much seat area is left on there that actually contacts the valve. Um, it looks like I cut it down by maybe about a third of the seat area. Um, and I'm not real comfortable with it, but like I said, I think that it'll probably work for this engine. And given that I can live with a little bit more tolerance for my own stuff than, than I would for a customer's and a little more uh, fudge factor, I guess. Um, this I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna run it and see see what happens. Um, so anyway, I'm probably I'm probably ten hours into the exhaust ports at this point, and possibly another two to three hours into just the roughing in of the intake ports, and they still have quite a ways to go. Um, I can show you. You know what, I'm just going to keep going and uh, start cleaning these up. I'm going to kind of show you where, where they're at currently, if you can see them. They're just kind of generally roughed in. I haven't hit them with any of the sandpaper rolls yet, just the carbide burr. And like I said, there was a lot more material to take out of these to make them, uh, you know, more uniform and match and, and feel smooth. A lot of this is feel, so I'm sticking my finger in each one of these holes and kind of making sure they feel the same. So obviously these bottom, these fifth valve 
holes are going to feel a little different than the rest. But do those feel the same? And then do these, do these other two top ones feel the same? And I, I think they're feeling pretty uniform at this point. Um, so I think with the exception of a couple of these, I might, might touch up a little bit with the carbide burr. I think I'm about ready to go to the, the sandpaper rolls and start finishing these things. Um, so probably 13 hours into this at this point, uh, I, could, I can easily see another 10 in it. So probably 25 hours or so into doing the porting on this head total. We'll see how, how close that estimate is when I get closer to the end. But uh, it's a lot of work. So, um, you know, prepare yourselves for that. Give yourselves some time if you're going to get into something this deep. And, uh, you know, just maybe be a little more careful than I was right here because I kind of screwed that up. But uh, anyway, um, I'm going to keep after it. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, we're uh, getting pretty close on this head here, um, at least on the, the porting. Uh, intake ports are pretty pretty good, exhaust ports are pretty good. Uh, I still have to go in, I still have to go in and deburr uh, the guides a little bit. Um, but here, I'll just, try to, I'll just try to show you what I'm looking at here. So those are the exhaust ports. Having trouble focusing because it's too shiny. And then the intake ports. And then from the combustion chamber side, here, let's see, set it up like this maybe, you can see a little better. So I don't know if you can tell, but the uh, exhaust ports are pretty shiny and the intake ports I left rough. I only used the, uh, the 80 grit, or I think 60 grit actually. 60 grit rolls on the intake ports so that they would stay kind of rough um, giving us that shear layer that we talked about in the in the last video um, so these are getting really close uh, I think probably probably pretty much done besides deburring the uh, the guides which you can see the little burrs hanging in there probably um, but yeah so uh, probably 20 hours into this right now and then uh, we still have to do the combustion chambers and uh, and lap the valves and reassemble the head and clean and all that stuff but uh, I think that's about it for this video um, so intake that was pretty much all the intake port work uh, and we will uh, continue on to doing the combustion chambers and then lapping and reassembling uh, after that um, but, yeah, a bunch of work. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos or learning something, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or uh, anything telling me I'm an idiot or anything like that, uh, please go ahead and comment below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.